Because the difference between real money and paper money, money which is sunnah and paper money, is that money which is sunnah is money in which the value of the money is in the money. Someone should teach that to the Saudis. Go teach it to the Saudis who want to teach Islam to all the rest of the world. Go teach it to the Saudis. The value of the money is in the money. The definition of the paper money is that the value of the money is no longer in the money. And so the value can be changed. Every time the value is changed, the value goes down. What happens when the value of money goes down? The first thing is that there is a massive transfer of wealth from the masses to that predatory elite, which in this case was the government, Uncle Sam. The masses lost half of their wealth, almost half. That's the first thing that happens when the value of the paper money goes down. What's the second thing that happens? The answer is this. I work for the whole month. I got my salary in gold. Could buy a camel. Took it home. <laughs> Put it underneath the pillow. Took it off after five years. You could still buy the camel. Ten years, you could still buy the camel. But when I get my salary in paper now, You can buy a camel, take it home, put it underneath the pillow. A few years later, when I take it out, can't buy a camel anymore. Can only buy a jackass now. <laughs> so now I'm beginning to feel like a jackass because someone has ripped me off. Where did my money go? If you could answer that question, where did your money go? Who took your money? And how did they take your money? You would understand the game that they're playing. We used to have men like that. In North America, we had one Islamic scholar who was like that, and then they killed him. A man named Malcolm X. He didn't have a PhD from Al-Azhar, but he could see better than any sheikh. Who took my money? And how did they take him? Did they take it? Hmm? A few years later, I take the money out of my pillow. Can't buy a jackass anymore. Can only buy a goat. A few years later, can't buy a goat anymore can only buy murgi, dajaja, hmm? chicken. I mean, you got to eat a lot, a lot of halwa not to be able to see <laughs> that this is haram. But the distinguished muftis of Islam still have to declare that this paper money is haram. The rip-off has taken place. The thieves have looted everything. Our people are now in miserable poverty, destitution, imprisoned in that poverty. Kad al-fakru an yakuna kufra, said the Prophet ﷺ. That this poverty and destitution can lead a people to kufr, and that is what is happening in many parts of the world. But the mufti still cannot see that this is haram. You will not get a fatwa from the mufti that this is haram, much less to get a fatwa from the mufti that this is riba.